Recently, my friend Bodong sent me an article that he was uh, writing about how he used hypothesis to support collaborative knowledge building in his uh, learning analytics class. Hypothesis is an annotation tool that can be used on any web page or PDF, including the article that Bodong was writing. Uh, it not only lets you annotate with other people on the same article, but using tags you can uh, aggregate annotations from many different places. For example, here is the tag that Bodong used for his class, and you see some of the articles that his students have annotated, and you can see uh, the ideas that they were able to extract. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to pull these ideas into FROG, our collaborative learning tool, and see if we can help the students work more deeply with these ideas. So here's a, a quick prototype. So FROG lets us uh, design these collaborative learning scenarios. Uh, we have these three levels, individual, uh, team-based and whole class. So let's start by doing some team-based activities. Um, so we'll have a um, voting up interesting citations and to help the students coordinate we'll add a group chat and these will be at the same time. Now, first we need to put the students in groups, so we're going to use a social operator that called uh, Create Groups. We'll say that we would like students to be in groups of two, a minimum, so if there's a group of three, that's okay. And now we would like, so we'll connect that to both of these activities, and we'll specify, let's see, this should be a chat and we'll group it by group just the uh, uh, social attribute that this operator generates and we'll create here a brainstorm activity which will let the students vote up uh, interesting citations and also add new ones we'll group this by the same attribute please vote up interesting citations or add your own and we'll let them submit new ideas as well. But now we need to get the ideas from Hypothesis into our system. To do that, we need to add a product operator, and this will be a Hypothesis operator. So we'll put in the hashtag and the URL that we were looking at. So now this operator will get all of the ideas. Now to make the student work a little bit more efficient, we will distribute the ideas among the students. To do that, we need another operator, which is a product operator that distributes content. And we will use the group. We'll give them four ideas per group. And now we need to connect both the social structure and the incoming data into this product operator. And the output of this product operator will go into the brainstorm activity. Okay, so good. Now, after the students have voted up their uh, favorite citations, we want to do a whole group activity where students are able to um, cluster these. So we will create a clustering activity, which will be a common knowledge board and we have four quadrants that we can name so let's say methods um, maybe ethics uh, data and learning and we want to get the data from the interesting citations now instead of taking all the citations we can consider taking the two best ones from each group since we're letting the students vote up and down. So we'll put in a new product operator, um, aggregate best ideas, we'll take the two top ones, so we'll take the citations from this activity into that operator and feed the result into the clustering activity. Now we just need a chat for the whole class.
and which will run at the same time. And we're done. Now let's name our graph. And let's run it. To run it, uh, we need some students. So we have three students, Alton, Nilsson, and Peter, and we will create a new session with the hypothesis. And we'll bring all these students into the class. So the students in group zero can go in and look at these citations coming from hypothesis. Uh, they might uh, vote up uh, some of the interesting ones. They can have a little discussion. And of course over here uh, is Peter who is alone in this group because we only have space for three students on the, on the screen. Now each activity can bring with it its own dashboard because each kind of um, activity will generate different kinds of data that should be visualized in different ways. So in this case, for example, we can look at a dashboard of um, the chat, which is just a, a word cloud that is um, reactive. Uh, so if I type learning multiple times, then that becomes bigger. Um, this is just a, a quick prototype. Now, we are ready to go to the next step, which is a whole class activity where we want to select the top two citations for each group and bring them together. So we have this clustering activity with the four quadrants that we defined and uh, the students um, can uh, discuss whether this should be, for example, in methods, this might be in ethics, this might be in data, um, We still have, of course, the dashboard. Uh, and so on. So that was just a very quick demo of how we can get um, external data into Frog, how we can use uh, operators to group, distribute, aggregate, sort, um, how we can have these uh, compound activities um, with um, different ways of working with knowledge. Um, and maybe we'll actually do this for real one time in Bodong's class or in another context. Thank you.